Reds, the Russian Civil War, 1918 to 1921. And that's exactly what we'll be playing. Um, for the next couple weeks, probably going to take a couple weeks for sure to get this all figured out. But I thought I'd give you all a little look here at the board. This is the initial setup. As you can see, we have here in the northeast sort of the Siberian contingent of white forces. Um, you know, a few minimal red armies around them. If we move down to the south, we can see the sort of armored forces of South Russia, AFSF, or the armed forces, not armored. <laughs> and uh, they're in a pretty interesting position as well. There's two red armies between some white units there, and if we draw the logistics chit early, they actually will be out of supply. So hopefully we can get that going, because that's a huge advantage for forces in the south if we can flip those armies and uh, eliminate them early. The initial goals for the white forces will be to come down here to Kazan, because that's where the uh, people's gold is. And if we can grab that, that's worth one resource for us. And uh, the white forces need to capture resources or resource hexes, like Simbirsk here. You can kind of see it's got that white outline around it. That means it's a resource city. We need to capture, as the white forces, as many of those as we can, because as the game goes on, uh, allied forces will withdraw um, if we don't maintain enough uh, progress of the war sort of uh, measurement with resource cities. We have to get so many resources to convince the allies to sustain their war effort. Because what the allies bring is not only a few units in the north, but particularly they bring you these little special guys. You get access to airplanes, to trains, you get access to tanks. And these come about through random events that will um, roll for us during each turn, at the beginning of each turn. So that's sort of a general outlook of what Reds is about. Um, I'm going to probably start the first turn, and uh, we'll go from there.